side, desserts, sodas, fruit juices, refined flour products, cereals, breads, pastas, snack bars, anything you buy in a fast food restaurant, pretty much anything you buy in a fast food restaurant is going to, you're going to run the risk uh, of dropping your blood sugar fast, causing cortisol to come out in the blood and initiating a stress response. So first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you're practicing deep breathing. If you're uh, shallow breathing or if you're a chest breather, you run a big time risk of initiating a panic attack or an anxiety attack. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure you stabilize your blood sugar. You do not want to go into hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Go for protein. Protein will break down slowly in the body. It has a filling effect. It has a stabilizing effect. It has a grounding effect. And interestingly, many of the nutritional supplements that, they, uh, that are associated with relieving anxiety are also nutritional supplements that help stabilize blood sugar, and this is no coincidence. Stabilizing blood sugar, keeping your blood sugar uh, even, avoiding low blood sugar and hypoglycemic attacks is key to reducing anxiety. Tomorrow, we'll tell you about some other strategies for keeping your anxiety down, for reducing anxiety, for avoiding panic attacks and, and anxiety attacks, and we'll also talk about nutritional supplements that you can use if you are one of the millions of folks who are dealing with anxiety. We'll do that tomorrow. Now it's time to go to our phones. 866-582-9933 is our number. Our first phone call of the day. Let's uh, go off to Minnesota and welcome Michael to the bright side. What is up, Michael? Hi, pharmacist Ben. Greetings. Uh, my daughter, I have a six-year-old daughter, and she's losing her hair. Her hairline has receded back, you know, to and I believe past her ears this morning. I called and I uh, talked to uh, Dr. Glidden yesterday on his show. Uh, okay. I didn't get to respond, and I had previously done everything that he suggested, with the exception of talking to a pharmacist. Okay. Uh, what did he tell it, you? It seems as though, that it, well, he told me to uh, do the research, and I had already done research on, uh, she had an injection of rocephin uh, for a series of fevers that she had had. Okay. Uh, and and I I was I'm against it. I didn't know about it until after she had it. But in any case, uh, did you he notice any? Uh, did you help, notice it? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Michael. I'm, I'm sorry. He suggested a healthy starter pack and uh, liquid selenium and uh, the uh, nightly nightly something from Longevity. I'm, I'm a member of Longevity. I've been on the supplements for about 18 months. However, uh, my spouse and I are not on the same page with this. She's not on board with the, with supplements. And Put her on. Put your spouse on. Let me that, talk to her. We'll, we'll get her straight Well, out. she's not here. She's uh, not okay. here. I'm, I'm kind of uh, at work, and I'm doing this <laughs> at work. But in I'm any case. I'm just pulling your leg. Um, I'm just pulling your leg. But if she called me, we would straighten <laughs> her right out. Let me tell you, Michael. Well, I'll, I, I'll try to make that you don't, happen. You don't even need but to. In, go ahead. In, in any case, um, um, alopecia seems to be a topic that's coming up. And okay. my question to you is, what triggers alopecia? Okay. And I know Dr. Wallach talks about autoimmune diseases not actually being autoimmune diseases. They're mineral deficiencies. Well, and so what, what really causes alopecia? And if this is some sort of alopecia, how do we relieve it? Okay, well, a couple things. First of all, I don't want to get into Dr. Glidden or uh, Dr. Wallach. You, you know, they're, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. This is how I look at it. You know, if you've listened to me on the bright side, you know I'm always trying to simplify things. I want to simplify health. And one of the easiest ways to simplify health conditions is into anabolism and catabolism, which are two fancy ways of saying build up and break down, build up and break down. Uh, anabolism means build up, uh, catabolism means break down. Together, they make up metabolism, which is the sum total of all the chemistry in the body. When your body is not doing what it should be doing, and alopecia, which is a fancy way of saying baldness, when your body is not doing what it should be doing, including baldness, alopecia, your body is in net breakdown mode. It's just like when you're in business, okay? If you're in a business, it doesn't matter how much money you're spending. It doesn't matter how much money you're making. It matters what, ha what you got at the bottom line at the end of the day. So in a business, you're either net in the red or net in the black, even though at any given moment you may be spending money or making money. At the end of the day, you're either net in the red or net in the black. And the same thing is true with the body. At the end of the day, your body is either net in the red or net in the black. If you're dealing with any kind of health crisis, guess what? You're net in the red. And it's as simple as that. Baldness and alopecia are unusual in a child because children are typically in the black. They're not in the red. Children are, are typically going to be highly anabolic. Like they're going to be building things. So if you have a child who is going through alopecia issues, there's a big problem in the sense that she is unusually rare. Uh, she's suffering from an unusual condition for a child, which is being net in the red. Does that make sense so far, Michael? 
Yes, it does. Okay, so we got it. The simple answer, very simple answer. We got to figure out why is she not anabolic? Why is she not in the black? Why is she in the red? Now, there's many reasons for this. One thing is stress. Now, when the body is under stress, it shuts down all growth and repair. Stress hormone cortisol and also to a certain extent the stress hormones estrogen and serotonin uh, can also have an effect. So one issue can be some kind of stress that's going on. Those stresses, uh, that stress can be a psychological stress or it can be a physiologic stress. However, without having some more pieces to the puzzle, we can't figure out what is causing that stress. The hair problem is not the problem. That's the symptom of the problem. Does that make sense, Michael? Yeah, the hair absolutely. Issue, okay. The hair issue is not the issue. That's the symptom. It's the fruit of the tree. We want to go to the root of the tree. You can't heal a diseased tree by spraying something on the leaves or by, by, by fixing the fruit. You've got to fix the root. So we've got to find some more symptoms if we're going to figure out what's causing the problem. Do you notice, for example, any digestive issues? Because that's always the first thing to focus on. Bowel movement problems, uh, gas, bloating. Have, Go ahead. I have not noticed any of that. Focus. She has uh, gotten hiccups on and off. Okay, well, that's not quite a digestive problem, but that may be related. So ask, the, ask your wife. Uh, it's going to be tough to get it from a little girl maybe, but kind of a probe. Ask some key questions. Check her bowel movements. See if you notice she's holding her belly a little bit. Uh, pay close attention because that's a classic stressor, and it's very unusual for somebody to have a, a, some kind of symptom in the body without having a digestive issue. That's the first thing to think about. Uh, then there's also thyroid issues. Hang tight, Michael, because this is very important, and I want to finish this when we come back from our break. Can you stick with us, Michael? I sure can. Okay, stick with us. Uh, we'll finish that up and come back from our break. We'll talk about childhood alopecia. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll try to get to all your calls here when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Ted Anderson telling you about Jordan Rubin's Beyond Organic Green-Fed Raw Cheddar Artesian Cheese featuring whole milk created through ancient dairy breeding, unpasteurized, untreated whole milk on the same farm the cows graze, containing natural sources of omega-3s, CLA protein, calcium, probiotics, and enzymes. I have never tasted cheese this good, and you need to try it. Contact your Longevity distributor or call 877-878-4203 or go to GCNteam.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. So we just- decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-STONE. I am so excited. My Ghost 80% AR-15 rifle just arrived. (laughs) I bought it from guns80.com. I've wanted an 80% AR-15 ever since my buddy Mark got his. I just had to have one. And when I was on the website at guns80.com, not only did they have a great deal on the Ghost ARs, but I also found lots of other really cool stuff. And they're 80% specialists. At guns80.com, they have a great selection of pistol kits and rifle kits. All of them can be legally shipped straight to your front door. 80% lowers and jigs starting at 50 bucks. 80% rifle kits, 500 bucks. Everything you need to build an AR in your home, all at guns80.com. Cool part, 100% legal in most states. So, get your AR-15 today. I got mine. Now it's your turn. 
Go to guns80.com. I can't wait to get mine built. Get your ghost AR-15 today at guns80.com. Go to guns80.com. That's guns, the number 8080.com. You pick up the receiver with your heart racing and sweat dripping from your forehead. You finally muster the courage to dial the number to call into your favorite talk radio show. It rings once, twice, and then... Hello, it's GCN. What's your name and the state you're calling from? Surprised you got through, you squeak out. Jason from Minnesota. Please hold. As you patiently wait for your turn, you begin to daydream about being a famous talk radio host and what it would be like to have your own show. Jason from Minnesota, you're up. Millions of loyal listeners worldwide waiting to call and talk to you. Caller, are you there? Cheering crowds surround you, calling out your name. Jason! Jason! Going once, twice. Okay, we gotta move on to the next caller. You blew it. Huh? Wait, no! Interact with the hosts you're listening to right now, online at GCNlive.com. Click on the community link. Engage with other listeners. Ask questions. Start debates. Don't agree with a host? Let them know. Be a part of the community at GCNlive.com. You're listening to GCN, proudly sponsored by UnseenNow.com. Lock down your digital life at UnseenNow.com. This is GCN. The following program is a rebroadcast of a previously aired show. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Michael in Minnesota. Michael, you there, my friend? I am. Okay. Did you ever hear of a process called triangulation? You ever uh, hear of that? No, I haven't. Right. Triangulation is uh, something that they use when they want to determine where somebody's making a cell phone call from. They'll find uh, uh, different cell towers, and they'll, uh, uh, if you find three points, you can form a little triangle, and you can find out where the fourth point is. Or if you find two points, you can find out where the third point is. The point, what I'm trying to say is by collecting the dots, by collecting different symptoms, we can form a picture, a better picture. We can triangulate a picture to find out what exactly is going on in your child's body. With just the, the alopecia, with just the baldness, we're really resorting to guess to guesswork. So it's very important that you find other symptoms. The digestive tract is usually a suspect, and if we can find some digestive problems, that really helps. If you don't notice anything, that makes it, we can still do it, but that makes it a little bit more problematic. So step number one, uh, look for digestive triggers, food intolerances, food allergies, problems with bowel movements, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. These are easy to spot because your child will complain or you can spot them through her bowel movements. So that's the first thing that you want to do. Anything that activates her stress response system will uh, make it more difficult for her to go into building mode and hair growth as part of building mode. Digestive triggers can cause stress, uh, a, stress, a stress response or any kind of illness can really cause a stress response. You mentioned uh, a, a, an antibiotic injection. That can cause a stress response as well, although that should subside if she's healthy overall. So I wouldn't blame it on that, although it could be an initial trigger. It may have caused a problem in the first place. Now, another thing an antibiotic can do, an injection, antibiotic injection can do, is it can throw off her intestinal bacteria, and that in turn can throw off the digestive system, and that can cause a stress response. So first thing you want to do is you want to find other symptoms. Look to the digestive system first. Uh, before we went to break, I was, t- I was telling you about hypothyroidism. Uh, it's very unusual for a child that young to be hypothyroid, but it is a possibility. Hypothyroidism tends to follow issues with blood sugar and issues with the digestive digestive tract as well. So once again, we come back to the digestive system, but you also want to maybe want to check out, uh, have a look at uh, a blood sugar problems, hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, as I was saying uh, before we started taking phone calls, low blood sugar can also activate a stress response. So you want to make sure that she's not going into hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Any diabetes in the family? Any blood sugar issues in the family? Michael? No. Okay, not. so more than likely that's not going to be an issue. Uh, that's, that's probably not going to be an issue. Uh, the next thing that you want to think about is nutritional deficiencies. Now, if she has any digestive problems, again, that can uh, uh, cause problems absorbing nutrients, and she can run into problems with nutritional deficiencies, especially with the building nutrients. And the building nutrients uh, are, unfortunately, nutrients that are difficult for the body to absorb, especially protein, essential fatty acids, and zinc. And zinc is probably the single most important anabolic mineral that you can ever use. If she's not using zinc, get her on zinc today. Now, she's probably, how much does she weigh? How much does your daughter weigh? 
About 50 pounds. I would be getting 10 or 15 milligrams of zinc a day. Uh, essential fatty acids. Use the ultimate essential fatty acids from Longevity. 